Welcome to Infra SEO YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to create Active Directory OU reports with PowerShell. But to follow along with this tutorial, you need to have an Active Directory set up on your Windows Server. Other than that, you also need Remote Server Administrator tools or RSAT tools for Active Directory. And after that, it is a good option to have the latest version of PowerShell. So let's get started by first creating an OU in the Active Directory with the help of PowerShell. For that, open up the PowerShell in Administrator mode. And then simply use the command let new add organizational unit. And after that, in the quotation mark, specify the name for that particular unit. So I'm just going to name it as infra SOS and then hit enter. Once that is done, the next step is to set this organization unit. For that, the command let is set AD organization unit. After that, provide the identity flag. And in the identity, you're going to simply provide the complete path of your OU. And at the very end, you're going to simply add in the flag which is protected from accidental deletion and set its value equal to false. Once that is done, simply hit enter. Now you have successfully set up your AD organizational unit. Now let's move towards the first command that we are going to use, which is to get a list of all the OUs or the organization units with PowerShell. Now for that, simply head over to the blog post that is linked in the description box so that you can easily copy paste the command in the PowerShell. So simply copy this command, paste it inside the PowerShell and as you can see that the commandlet is get ad organization unit and then you're using the properties flag and then and after that you're using the filter flag to filter out the sort object which has canonical name and format the table as well for canonical name and the distinguished name as well. At the end simply hit enter and you would have a table of canonical names and distinguished names. And right over here we have our organization unit that we have just created as infra SOS and this is the complete path. Now in case you want to get the list of all OUs including user count with PowerShell then simply come over to this section on the blog post, copy this command, paste it inside the PowerShell and as you can see that we are simply using the for each object property to get user count. After that simply hit enter and you will get the result on the PowerShell. Currently we do not have any users with these organizational units. And lastly if you want to export the organization units in Active Directory to a TXT file with the help of PowerShell then simply head back to the blog post copy this command and within this last line you can see that we're using the out file commandlet to actually export to C drive in the form of txt. So let's copy that, paste in the PowerShell and then hit enter. Now our file has been exported. To verify this, simply open up the file explorer, head over to C and right over here you have the export. So open it up and you would find all of the details right over here. And in case you want to get the result in a CSV file, then simply copy this last line and paste it inside the PowerShell and then hit enter. Now head back to the file explorer. Now you have exported the information about the organization unit in the form of a CSV format. Additionally, you can also check out the Office 365 and Active Directory auditing tool known as Infra SOS. Now this Infra SOS helps users confirm their Active Directory and Office 365 users which are compliant and secure from any potential cyber attack. Now that brings us to the end of this video. Now if you have any queries regarding this video, make sure to leave that queue in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.